Yeah, hi everybody. Today we are discussing uh, working with flat files in Informatica. The version is Informatica version is so Informatica 9.6.1 and topic is Topic is so loading data from loading data from single flat file to single target. So loading the data from single. single target right so loading data from single flat file to single target so <coughs> the source is flat file my target is database table so we'll see today this topic Yeah, my flat file is employee is the flat file which is existed in this Informatica and 9.6.1 version and server in founders co-shared and SRC files. In these files we have a table called as employee table, employee flat file. So we don't have an employee flat file. Yeah, so let us create a one file called as employee. So because my flat file name is employee. Yeah, EMPNO, E name, job, cell department number these are the fields which are existed in this flat file and so employee number is double seven double eight so employee name is scott job is analyst and salary three thousand and department number is twenty on seven five double six and jones and job is manager and 2850 dollars is the salary for him and department number 20. So these are the two records which are existed in this flat file. I want to load these flat files, this flat file data into database table. My target is database table so where is the database open this and here target at the rate war cell tiger target Select star from T underscore EMP underscore file. You can see this is the target database. Uh, let me truncate this table so that I can load the data freshly. So there is no data. If you see the structure of this table, if you see the structure of this table, you can see employee number, employee name, and See, employee number, employee name, job, salary, department name, my target table, <coughs> columns, the source also, employee number, employee name, job, salary, department. How to load these two records from flat file to 
in database table. So we have to create a mapping for this. I have an employee flat file structure which I imported and I have a target table. So what is my target table? So T underscore EMP underscore file which is already existed in the target designer it's in the targets so I can create the mapping clear yeah. so mappings create so M underscore flat file to target target database table okay this is my mapping click on okay the mapping is created but not a designed so I'm going to design the mapping which can <coughs> extract the data from flat file so this is my source definition which I am dragging and dropping on this mapping designer as and when you drag and drop you can see source definition as well as source qualifier source definition as well as source definition from here you can take the target definition which is required for you this is your target definition right so source definition and source qualifier both are automatic connected auto connected now I am connecting from source qualifier to target definition right so now I connected each port and click on repository and click on save so your mapping is saved into repository <laughs> yeah so this is the mapping which is uh, uh, designed so to load the data from source table to flat file you can see my source definition is coming from flat file and this source qualifier default transformation and this is my target or definition so I now I have to create a, a session for this mapping to execute this mapping. So we are creating the session in the task developer. In task developer, I am creating a session and go to tasks, create session task, s underscore mapping name. What are the mapping I have created? So the mapping name click on create so now at the time of creating it is asking the what is the corresponding mapping so what is the associated mapping so I'm underscore flat file to database table click on ok done here you can see this is the existing this is the created source uh, session double click on this go to mapping and click on the source qualifier so and uh, target so source qualifier we need to provide the source connection but here connection is not available why because this is not at all a database table it is a flat file which is existed in the local uh, drive so it may be c drive d drive anywhere in a local computer so we need to provide for this kind of files we have a facility to provide so source file directory which is a default directory so whatever the uh, informatica 9.6.1 server info underscore shared src file this is the default location which is given by informatica people default where you can keep your all source files so my source file I kept inside the default location so here informatica taken source file directory always it is a default location so it is available <coughs> in this location only I also kept my file in the same location so need not to change this file directory and source file name employee automatically it has taken from my source definition employee automatically it is going to read and it takes that name it is available here so my target is connection device because database table here I am giving a target connection click on ok and see the target load plan is a bulk to normal change and click on apply click on ok and go to repository click on save click on repository save so now to execute this session 
please click on workflow directory workflow create wf underscore and the session name whatever the session is created by reading this workflow name simply we can click on ok so simply we can understand this workflow is executing this session this session is executing this mapping ok so naming standard so under sessions we can see the session name this is the session name click on the link task save link them and save and go to the workflow click on start workflow to execute this for before executing workflow i want to check the database table so this is my database table there is no data empty so now go to workflow start workflow and durga soft folder in this you succeeded this is a workflow this is session session is succeeded workflow is also succeeded right and now we'll check the target so here data is loaded those two records whatever the two records are existed these two records are loaded into data previously it was empty so now data is loaded from flat file to target table so now so what we are checking here we are checking uh, so we are loading the data from flat file to database table now where is the flat file flat file is existed in a location where informatica is suggested us according to informatica all the source file whichever you want to maintain for that they given one location that is a src files under informed underscore shared server this is a default location why because automatically my session my session you can check here my session sources is automatically reading from there only what i want to do i don't want to keep in this location i want to keep in my location my own location so go to on c drive and so come back come back so here uh, my i'm creating one folder sources folder open this here i want to keep so here i want to keep so informatica 9.6.1 server and for shared source files this file right click and cut so it is not existed okay now i want to keep in this sources paste so now i have changed my flat file data my flat file location i have changed and truncate this table and the existing data i have removed and please this flat file uh, location default location where exactly informatica is looking that location is changed this file is not existed in this location now i want to run this workflow see click on start workflow see here yeah. so it is failed so it is failed why it is failed right click and go to run properties go to run properties and you can see a error message what is the error message uh, for underscore 3000 error opening file there is a problem to open source file in this location operating system error is operating system cannot find the file specified whatever the file i have specified it is not available simply very clearly it is giving a error message whatever the file you mentioned in this mapping that file is not existed in that location which you provided the location whatever the location we given our location is this one so now i want to change this location come here go to mapping under sources whatever the location you provide this one you want to i want to remove this 
Why? Because the file is not existed here. Where it is existed? So come back, sources, right click, copy, and come here, paste. What is this? So now click. So now Informatica will look for this file into this folder. Click on OK and go to repository save. Why? Because it is modified. So now workflow run. So need not to save this workflow. Click on workflow, start workflow. If you start this workflow, see it is failed already. There was no data. There was no data. So now I have changed the location of the I have changed the location of the source. So right. So now start the workflow, start workflow. So running. Now it is succeeded. Why? Because you can check the data which is loaded already. Which is loaded data is loaded. So what happened here? So whatever the location you are providing for the source file, same location data will be loaded. Data works. Now this is nothing but how to extract the data from a flat file wherever it is existed. So we need to provide the source file path location path wherever it is existed that path should be provided in the directory here the name of the file right so this is the exactly location i have given so it can it it can it can read the data from now that file location so uh, and the next video we will see if i have a multiple flat files in the multiple locations and how to extract the data from multiple locations at a time multiple files data and loading into single target the next video we'll see and one more thing if i want to create a one parameter that is a session parameter by using a session parameter file i am going to pass this path wherever the source file is existed this path i will provide whatever the path i am providing from uh, flat file from parameter file so accordingly so informatica integration services will read the parameter file and parameter values according to the parameter values data will be extracted from the flat files which are existed that we will see in the next video so now so this is about flat files so and next video and the after the next video we will see all the flat files uh, extracting how to from multiple flat files single flat file single target multiple targets okay so we'll see uh, thanks for watching